Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of using free open source software. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about using the open office software. Uh, you can get this software free from uh, www.openoffice that's O-P-E-N uh, O-F-F-I-C-E dot org. That's www.openoffice.org and you can download this and then what will happen is, is you'll be able to get your uh, get your your uh, software that way. What we're going to talk about today is uh, just doing a very simple statistics aspect and uh, as you can see what I've done is I've loaded this at, your, at the open office calc and uh, this is a bunch of test scores uh, somebody didn't do too real well, uh, real well with that 34 and then I'm going to add a couple of columns. The first column I'm going to add is the five number summary, which is uh, something you learn about in stats. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is go over to the function tab, and you can see the function tab there. Uh, and then we'll click on that, and we'll go down to the min, which will give you the minimum score. So you click on that, and then you select all those scores from A2 to A11 and then hit enter and what will happen is it will give you the minimum score. The minimum score is 34. Next thing we want to do is we want to do a quartile. So remember Q1 so we're going to do a Q1 and what we'll do is we'll select that those test scores again to give you that to give you the, the data and then where it says type TYPE we're going to delete that and we're going to put in a 1 so that will give you your first quartile, quartile 1 Q1 is what they call it and that's 67. The next one's going to be a Q2 but you can do that either, either through the quartile or you can actually do it through the median which is your which is your second quartile, your Q2. So your median score, you'll click on median you'll select the scores again and you'll hit enter and that'll give you 72.5 as the median. The next thing you'll do is you'll do a Q3. So that'll, again, you go to quartile, double click on it. That'll give you the quartile. Select your scores. And then you'll see the type. So you're going to put in the type, which is this time is going to be a 3. So when you, and then hit enter. And that'll give you your third quartile. So the final thing you're going to do is you're going to get your max score, your maximum score. Max is there. So you double click on it. Select your scores again. A2 to A11. Hit enter. And there's your max score which is 90. So we did pretty well on this test. So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to take a look. And, uh, I want to make sure that you understand this is a five number summary. So I'm putting the minimum Q1 the Q2 or the median, Q3, and then your maximum. So we're going to do a little bit more than this. We're going to take a look. We're going to do the mean. We're going to do the median. We're going to do the mode. We're going to do a standard deviation. So we're going to take all those from the function areas that you see right there. We're using, we're, we're right now we're using all the functions aspects from the statistical functions. So the first one we're going to do is the mean. This is called the average. So you go up to the average, and there it is. Double click on it, and then select the scores. Hit your enter, and there you have your average. So now we're going to get the median. Now the median should be the same as the Q2. This is one way you can test actually the computer's the software to see if it's doing what you want it to do. There's your median. You select all the scores, hit your enter, and 72.5, which is, should be the same as your Q2. And then you're going to do your mode, and that'll pick out the scores that occur the most in this set of data. And that's 67. And uh, finally, we're going to do a standard deviation, which is a, a very long, uh, very long formula. If you're going to do it by hand, we're going to do it by using the actual um, Open Office Calc, which again is free and it's it's very easy. I, I went through the uh, standard deviation, the standard deviation A, standard deviation P, all those just to let you know what those were like, and picks STD EV, select the scores, hit the standard deviation, and that's what you get. And finally, I want to do one variance. Now, variance should be 
the square of the standard deviation. So we'll see if we'll see if that's correct or not. So we'll do the variance. There it is. Double click on it. And then you select the scores. And then hit the enter key. And if you take uh, the standard deviation, square it, you're going to get the variance. So that's pretty much it. This is uh, this is something that is relatively easy. It gives you a five number summary, some some major descriptive statistics, and it's totally free. You can use it. Uh, you can of course use it free of charge. It is op at uh, www.openoffice.org, and you can download this, and uh, you're you're good to go. So thanks for watching. Uh, you can subscribe to my Grek Tech channel uh, in YouTube. Contact me at the website there, and please give me any feedback uh, on these videos, good or bad, doesn't make any difference. Appreciate it very much. Have a great day, and uh, look for these and other videos on the Grek Tech channel.